Hello and welcome to another edition of Feel This Pain. I'm Ken McKim and tonight we're going to be talking a little bit about pudendal neuralgia. What is that? Well, it's damage or injury to the pudendal nerve. Here, uh, take a look at the picture and you can see it's located in the pelvic area. And as you might expect, any damage to that area is going to be particularly painful because of everything that's down there. So what areas are affected? Well, we're talking about the rectum, the anus, urethra, perineum, and of course your genitals are all affected by this. Symptoms can include bowel and bladder incontinence, sharp pains, especially when sitting, burning, pins and needles or tingling, numbness, electric shock, or a stabbing pain. Wait, there's more. A hot poker sensation, burning urination, constipation, knife-like or aching pain, a loss of sensation in your sex organs, or the opposite, persistent genital arousal disorder, which sounds made up, but it isn't. It's where you run around uh, feeling like a horny teenager with all of the physical signs that go along with that, if you catch my drift. So yes, what can cause pedendal neuralgia? Well, there is some research, and let me get this right here, uh, pioneered by a Dr. Stanley Antelak that supports a link between interstitial cystitis and pedendal neuralgia. Now, I've covered IC before in a previous Feel This Pain video, and you should take a look if you'd like to learn more about the condition, but that's just another blow to people with IC that they could also get pedendal neuralgia in conjunction with it. Other things that can cause pedendal neuralgia include things like inflammatory autoimmune illness, uh, frequent infections, trauma to the nerve, childbirth, surgery, or severe endometriosis, just to name a few. As far as treatment options, you have physical therapy, medication management, uh, pedendal nerve blocks, nerve decompression surgery, and in some cases, an intrathecal pain pump. And that last one is a device, it's about the size of a hockey puck that's surgically implanted, and it delivers uh, metered doses of pain medication right into your spinal fluid. And as such, you get greater pain relief with less medication. There are some doctors that really, really like this. They're, they're very much fans of this device. And from what I've read, this is just through my own research, uh, it's supposedly easy to reverse. If you're having problems with the device, it's not supposed to be a big deal to remove it. Bottom line, if you know someone who has pedendal neuralgia, now you know a little bit about what they deal with on a daily basis. I mean, put yourself in their mindset of living every minute of every day, never knowing if you're going to suddenly get a, what feels like a jolt of electricity to your genitals. Do you think that might be a little stressful or never knowing if you're going to be incontinent, either bladder incontinence or uh, the much more embarrassing fecal incontinence in any given moment. All sorts of horrible sensations like burning, and tingling, and everything you don't want associated with your pelvis. That's what you get every day of your life. So if you know someone with this, please extend them every bit of courtesy and compassion that you can possibly muster because they deserve it. They're going through a lot. And with any luck, you will never have to know exactly what they're going through because you'll never experience it. And that's it. That's all the time we have for this week. Thank you so much for joining me. If you have any questions, of course, please send them to me, Ken, at don'tpunishpain.com. You can also follow me over on Twitter at don'tpunishpain. So we'll see you again next week. Thanks again for tuning in. And until next time, I'm Ken McKim. You take care.